Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to the channel. This is Taimur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy, on which we talk on a weekly basis about things like AI, cybersecurity, cloud security. And last week I made a video about how to create a cloud security roadmap or a cloud security strategy. And today what I wanna do is I wanna take a step back and look at it for, from even a higher perspective, which is how to create a cybersecurity strategy. Now, this is a new report which has come out from the World Economic Forum. You know, the Global Cybersecurity Outlook, it's an excellent report. Basically, it looks at what are the trends happening, what are the things that people are worried about between the public and private sector. I would definitely recommend taking a look at it because it shows where the world is going when it comes to cybersecurity. You know, they've also asked people about Gen AI and other types of risks. And looking at it, it, it made me quite interested to see how the world is changing, you know, how things we weren't worried about just like 10 years ago. Now they're at the top of people's list like AI and supply chain attacks and all those different types of things which are coming up. And honestly, this is not going to go away anytime soon. Cybersecurity is going to keep evolving. And if you're leading a cybersecurity team or a department or being a CISO, it becomes a huge issue because things keep changing. And that's why whether you are on-prem, or in cloud security, there is a critical need for having a proper cyber security strategy or a roadmap, you know, something which guides you for the next 12 to 18 months. Things will keep changing. You will have attacks. You will have new products coming up. Things will come up which you never, ever expected. But if you have a cyber security strategy, you at least have a clear vision where you have to go. And technology changes so fast. If you don't have a proper roadmap in place, you can have serious problems down the road because things will keep changing, new things will coming up, right? You need some sort of a guiding light, a North Star, which takes you. And this is where, unfortunately, a lot of problem comes up because people don't know where to start. Hey, what do I do? How do I start? Where do I begin with? So this is what I, the whole point of today's video is. Based on my experience, and I have created strategies, cybersecurity strategies for over like more than 15 years, honestly. And this is what I wanted to talk about at a high level. By the end of this video, you will have a good knowledge of what you need to develop a, at least a basic cybersecurity strategy, whether you are a small company or a massive Fortune 500. Honestly, it's not like difficult, but you just need to know what to do. And before we move ahead, please do like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified about the new videos which I release. So this is the topic of today's video, the creating a cybersecurity strategy step by step. And I cannot tell you how important this step is because just like with a cloud security roadmap, if you do not do this correctly, you're going to waste millions and millions of dollars. You're going to waste your time and you will secure the wrong things. You won't be securing the things that need to be secured. You're going to be securing the wrong systems, the wrong areas, and you're going to have a data breach and you're going to be in a, like a knee jerk reaction all the time. Some breach will happen. You will focus there. Some new project will come. You'll run over there. Some new like the priority will come up. You see, you'll be keep running around in confusion. So this is what I wanted to talk about. And by having a cybersecurity strategy, you will have a proper North Star. And remember, your size does not matter. It doesn't matter if you're a small startup or a Fortune 500. You need a practical cybersecurity roadmap. So this is what I wanted to talk about. These are the six steps that you can use, okay? Which is the foundation, gap analysis, capability, implement, evaluate, optimize. There is no one size fits all framework for all companies, but you can treat it like a high level roadmap you can put on your own things these are best on best uh, based on best practices regardless of what sector you're in what type of industry you're in what is the size of your company so these are the six steps which is foundational then the second step is doing a gap analysis and benchmarking third is uh, capability an important step which gets missed out fourth is implementation fifth is evaluating and sixth is optimizing so let's take a look step by step the first step is foundational and what is the foundation step? Simply put, what do I have to protect and what do I have to comply with? And it's incredible how many companies sometimes they don't know. Like, you know what, uh, before you go around securing, do you even know what you have? Uh, and how do you know what you have? Are you relying on some asset list? Are you relying on some Excel sheet, which was there like 10 years ago? And you won't believe how many people do that and they make this mistake. So you need to inventory, properly inventory and find out, identify the assets, right? What, what sort of systems do you have? What sort of environments do you have? Uh, what sort of platforms you are using? And because of the way the companies have been growing, a lot of times they don't even know, they don't know how many SaaS applications they have. They don't know how many entry points they have. Sit down with IT and try to create a proper inventory of what you have. And the second step is once you know 
what you have what do you have to comply with check with your compliance team what are the obligations of your industries right you know like you might have hipaa pci sabana soxley gdpr do you know what you have to comply with because that is going to form a major input into your next step so this is what i want this is a very what you call unattractive step because it doesn't look very exciting but this is so crucial i cannot tell you please get visibility into what you have before you start securing stuff and the next step is doing the benchmarking or the risk analysis so you can do both of these honestly at the same time but, but basically this is an assessment of your current security posture take a look at what your current cyber security measures are do your risk assessment a proper high level risk assessment right and uh, you can use some of the benchmarks which are there like nist like iso 27001 cis regardless of how you want to go about it it doesn't matter use a proper methodology whatever you want to use or maybe you have some requirements as per some standards that's why i asked you to check what do you have to comply with right you can use something like nist you can use something like iso 27001 but find out what are the controls you already have what you are required to protect what sort of regulations are they feeding into your risk assessment choose a framework that is most importantly easy to use and i cannot begin to tell you how many people make this mistake you are doing a risk assessment right you want to find out what are the risks in your company you do not need a very complex framework for this make a simple framework which you are able to use sit down with it and start listing down what threats you have you don't need to create a very complex quantitative spreadsheet based on machine learning use excel just make a sheet using microsoft excel and find out what are the key risks that you have to be looking at so that will give you what, what are the like the output of this will be a backlog you will have a backlog of key risks that you want to mitigate and this is the third step and unfortunately this is a step which a lot of people miss they jump directly into implementing and they miss out the capability stage which is can you meet the gaps uh do you need to do an investment in technology and resources do you have the budget because you will need to allocate proper resources and budget for cyber security you might need to invest in advanced technologies do you have the backing up of the board get the c if you are a cso you need to get the cso the cfo or cto whoever to sign off on what the requirements will be before you start the road map right and honestly the difference between a large company and a small company when it comes to securing yes yeah, cyber security strategy and implementing it it's usually just the number of employees and the budgeting and regardless of your size you can be a target right so this is why uh, you need to really make sure that you have the resources you have the money you have the time if you do not have that e either you need to invest in more resources you need to or you need to get more money or you need to make sure that those you need to extend the road map if you thinking you can do everything in 6 months you won't be able to do right you need to extend it so these are the questions you need to ask at this phase do you have the expertise to meet this cyber security road map do you have the budget to maybe outsource hire a soc so you need to think about these things and get the capability and based on this once you have done this phase this is where you actually start creating your road map so the output of all the previous steps will be a backlog a list of action items you know these are the risks these are this is what i need to do to mitigate them and yes i have the capability so you have clear actionable goals and objectives for your cyber security strategy and you can usually i have always recommend uh, getting the pmo office if you have a project management office involved and look at the things which you can quickly fix like low hanging fruit you know the quick wins you can do so you will you will be able to provide management feedback on what you are implementing and how the road map is going and this will show them that progress is happening against the cyber security goals and the cyber security vision is being executed right and this is what i always recommend please treat it like a project do not treat it like a solution you are implementing get the project management office involved or hire a project manager so that you get the uh, proper input because i can assure you what will happen is things will change new priorities will come up throughout the year new data breaches will happen and you'll be running around so you need a pmo office to keep you on track after 6 to 12 months do an evaluation and you need to do check how much did you have you achieved were your targets realistic a lot of times a few targets you said they will be very ambitious and you will not be able to meet them okay you can have a third party coming if you have the money or you can do it yourself just check have we reached those goals or the deadlines that we wanted and there can be a lot of failures which you did uh, like uh, reasons for failures you didn't have the budget to buy the proper thing you will run into politics uh, i hate to tell you this a lot of internal politics come into play when you're implementing cyber security your maybe your staff will leave 
a lot of people might get better offers and the guy you were depending on for implementing your cyber security they will leave right or maybe your business plans will change you were thinking of securing azure suddenly the business said no we're going to go with aws and you'll have to change everything right so sit down and look at what were the causes and how you can use that to improve and that feeds into the next trick which is uh, optimizing after every 12 months improve and repeat take a look at how the roadmap is going how you need to like improve what are the areas maybe you didn't have good communication maybe the risk assessment did not cover everything maybe the staff were not trained right but there can be multiple reasons that differs from company to company but this is a very crucial step that you do not want to miss it is critical that the strategy be revisited to determine if any gaps exist and usually i recommend a 12 month review period because that is usually enough time to see whether the progress had happened or not so like i said you initially you'll run into a lot of confusion you'll try to understand stuff then you will get better at it it's like working out the more you do it the better you will get at it and this is like i said i have deliberately made these six steps that you can use for any company i would not recommend skipping any of them most of the best practice frameworks they usually do recommend these steps only like i said there is no one size fit all framework that fits all companies but uh, use this as a starting point if you're starting from scratch if you already are using some benchmark just check if you have these things already included or not and the more you do it the better you will get at it so i hope this was useful to you this is what i wanted to give you some recommendations i hope this is useful and you you, you can implement it within your own companies like i said i've used this many many times with many many companies and usually i've seen this to be a very successful and a simple way of doing it remember cyber security does not have to be complicated it doesn't have to be all like a uh, techie and uh, very difficult to understand simple steps can yield the most valuable outputs if you do it consistently i hope this was useful to you guys please do like and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you